Welcome back, let's play Drone to Life Smudge Edition. So, we're in not rock bottom. Dealing with these annoying guys that definitely don't look like anything that would appear in rock bottom. Yeah, all of a sudden we're just getting all of the goo stuff appearing at once. All the scribbles. So these are the same enemies you've seen before, except they have an ability they didn't have before. It's kind of odd. This time they can shoot stuff at you, whereas they couldn't before. It's an odd approach to things. Now then. Oh, that's cool. I didn't mean to actually slide. Okay. Oh, well, this took me far back. I looked up here on the left, haven't I? At least that's one way to get back, I guess, if you feel like you messed up. Having so few checkpoints. For that not happen, but okay. Please leave me be. I think the glove might do more damage to certain enemies or something like that, though, despite this having better range and all that. I'm not sure. It's a bit difficult to work at the exact mechanic sometimes when you're not really bothering <laughs> to do much other than just run up the things and hit them. Okay, so it was off past this thing that I went into earlier. Just how far away was I? from the checkpoint when I died. Man. Hi. That's convenient. Yes, there's this dude. There's someone else after this one, too. But what is there past this? That looked like it was a secret type of thing. So I'm guessing that's another area right there, though. Oh, come on. I cleared that. Yeah. So that horrendous, side, <laughs> horrendous sound out of the way. Can you not? We can get back to where we were. So it was either a dead end or it was leading to the next area. If it was leading to the next area, then this should probably take us back to the original path eventually. If it was a dead end, then, well, we're not missing anything. So I think this is the right course of action going down here. I doubt there are multiple paths to the level itself that actually entail going through different room transitions or anything like that. Oh, come on, I can't climb down that one? Or can't um, crawl up this thing? See, whenever I see a cliff like this, I'm kind of tempted to just go down to see if there's anything on the other side. So I can't look down. But that ends up me dying like I did before. It's a little hard to make a judgment call. Guess that's a hat. That's a propeller hat, too. It's the other hat. I'll just keep an eye out for whether I need any particular power up here. And then take whatever is best. Although I think this just brought me back to where I was. So I guess the idea was at the end there, it gave you. Yeah, so I've already been here. Uh, sure, I guess. So I guess the idea is that that gave you some some free power-ups to choose from. I don't have any use for the float thing right now. And I have no way of knowing which one would, might actually be useful later in the level or anything like that. So I'm just taking whatever I feel like taking. Get on to the next area. 
Still only saved one person though, this has been quite a long level. Button! I wanna press it. Why is it that the thing that makes the dirty bubble come the most often, the thing that almost always summons him, is just pressing a button? There's a pretty copious amount of slime in this area. See, I can never know if there's something down below or not until I actually try it out and end up dying in the process most of the time. Stop that. Leave me be. And the attack range in this game, though, with your normal unmodified chop, reminds me of Shantae almost, actually. The original Shantae, where you had so little attack range. Now is the main difficulty in dealing with enemies, seriously? fact that you had so little to work with, you had to be so close to enemies to actually hit them, and they all did contact damage. Alright. Could you not? Could you not? I get propelled into the enemy by the slime, because for- uh, wait, it doesn't seem to- I don't quite get how that slime works. It seems like the idea is that it's slippery, but what actually happens is, look at this, I gain speed as I land. So it's not so much that it makes you slip, it's that it makes you accelerate in this really awkward fashion. Can you not? I'm getting tired of these guys. I want to slide on the goo into the enemy, but that's unfortunately not something that actually works. But the fact that sliding down a slope at any speed makes you as lethal as a speeding bullet. What? Jump on him! No. Finally, a checkpoint. Shoo! A scale. It's just a platform. It's literally nothing but a platform. Like, what does a person do to make a scale entertaining? I mean, there are lots of games I play that have scales that do things like this, but they're never really anything notable, at least as far as I can recall. Are there any amusing ideas for scales that enter my mind immediately? Not really. At least not this kind of scale, because we don't use this kind of scale anymore in our modern society. This is my protest to the game. And telling me to draw such a name things. Okay. Shopping things. Can't say I mind the amount of time that I'm getting to spend with each of these power ups lately, though, at the very least. It's going to use them frequently. Makes it a bit more bearable dealing with enemies. Oh man, another thing to draw immediately is a nice thing. Uh, hmm. I mean, a ninja shoe, quote unquote, is going to look like much of anything in particular. Can't really draw it to look like anything. That that's so sneaky. How you just like make some shoes with gum on them? What's well, a wall jump shoe? Not really sticking to a wall. I don't think at least, but whatever. Yeah, how do we do that actually? How do we just like make it a big wad of gum? Not not that far down. Okay, see, look, this barely even contains my actual feet, because it goes down so low below it. I can't get to match my feet, because it... It's 
just a big wad of gum. It is impossible to make it match my actual feet's bottoms. No, I'm not trying to draw there. It's about there that I want it to be. There. It's a wad of gum. Oh yeah, I do actually stick to the wall. Oh, that's perfect. It's beautiful. I'm just wondering if I can somehow infinitely wall jump up the wall. Some capacity, but nothing seems to be working so far. Oh, hi. I was not trying to do that at all, but I'll take it. What? Okay, what's going on here? How many invisible walls do we need? What purse does this serve? I'm just going all over the place without meaning to. Which is a little troubling because I still want to make sure I actually get all the stuff in the level. I don't know why I might be skipping. Perfect. I think this one might be another secret passage. It's not, but man. It's a really weird color swap looking guy. It's something. So a lot of goo left in this level. That wall jump gives you so many more options for mobility though, it's wonderful. Yes, yeah, so that's one way you can go. I can also go down. Dude, like how many places are there to go? Okay, so that progresses further. Which isn't what I want to do right now. I want to explore a little bit. I don't want the net right now. Can you stop? At least things you can attach to. Okay, so is this? No. What was it? Okay, so is this was what I saw earlier. Where I hit that button and those appeared. I think. Okay, that's not what I'm trying to do. Hit the button down here, but right below me that I can't see. Yes. Okay. This went in here. And that basically just brought me to where I was. Really not sure what the purpose of this secret passage was. I managed to reap its benefits, I guess. So whatever it offered me, I had it. I went through all of it, saw all it had to give, I think. These guys. That's interesting. For a moment there, I managed to actually attack as I was falling. Alright, and... Just jump down here, I believe that's... Factory where, yeah. Except now... God, darn it! exactly what I shouldn't have done. 
Alright, so now all we have to do is uh, get back up, I think we'll be good. We're doing everything there is to be done over here. Can't get up there, come on. Guys. But I can't do that. I can't go down below here. This guy this guy has to give me shoes on. Thank you. Immediately placed on me. Now can we go on through and actually have everything done to this area? I think I've seen everything in this weird labyrinth at least. I completely forgot for one too. We're gonna have to call it quits for this episode here. So I'll see you guys next time. Next episode, let's play Sun Drop. Rather, join the live Sun Drop edition. Oh come on, really? Where will? Managed to get on top of this thing. Bye, guys.